My name is Jason Wee and welcome to The Lions Fall Where They May at SCPI Singapore. The Lions Fall Where They May focuses on mark making. Mark making is usually conceived of as the forms in which artists manifest their intent, but I'd like to suggest that the mark makings are the ways in which these worlds register their presence to us in the artworks and often in neighbourly ways to the artist's intentions in the artist's studio. Hegu Yang visited our local supermarkets to bring home to the SCPI pre-making studios vegetables. You can see some of the, these impressions that these vegetables have left on the walls here in the main gallery space. I want to draw attention to actually is the darker marks that have been left on the paper. And these patterns somehow dirtying the page and they move the print away from an entirely clean impression. And I want to suggest that these are the vegetables in some ways resisting, not entirely moving or aligning themselves with the hand that is uh, pressing them onto the page. This is perhaps a way in which there is another form of life apart from ours that is making themselves felt. Susan Victor's aquatins come in half a dozen colours from the emerald to beautiful shades of blue that you can see behind me. The aquatins are created in ways that would recall splashed ink or pot ink styles or expressionist paintings. Artists often attribute to chance or happenstance, but in this case, I like to see chance as happenstance as the life of the water itself, being what it is, um, being water, being fluid, being other from us. Prabhavati created these works. They made a strong impression on me. These works were made on mulberry paper using copper wire that were pressed onto the paper to create an impression, kind of like a gully. Out of this, these geometric shapes that recall crystalline forms, they recall minerals, they remind me very strongly of uh, non-animate life, non-animate material. It's incredible for me that they begin really just from uh, a line that a copper wire makes. When Amanda King came to her residency here at SCPI, she was really interested in having conversations with people by asking them about a particularly treasured object in their lives, out of which she then created prints, like the ones that you see beside me. Genevieve Chua's work often suggests to me the qualities of light that are in some ways cinematic and almost celestial. The work suggests to me um, the ways in which light moves through uh, our skies as the way that a star or a sun or our moon uh, makes its way through our skies as the planet turn. We finally come to Gala Amir and Riza Fakode's wonderful collaboration at SCPI some years back. I remember encountering them as a young artist. They make a really strong impression on me. So you can see from the works behind me that you cannot quite tell the human figure uh, from the floral ones. You cannot quite see the full human silhouette when you're standing away from the work. Uh, and there are other works here by Riza and Gadir, as well as by Lin Tian Miao and more works by Genevieve Chua from her Breeze Block series, which are also um, recently made. They're fresh from her studio. And these works suggest uh, in, and echo the themes of the show, and they suggest in the ways in which we are really only part of the story, that there is uh, another order to things that we cannot fully shape and we cannot fully control. And there's an intangible world out there that's just often adjacent to ours, that there is uh, other lives here on this earth apart from our own.